Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. Let us pray. O God, who may teach the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and never more to rejoice in his only comfort through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please turn to page 28, the Epistle of St. Jude, verse 20. But as for you, beloved, build up yourselves upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. O Holy Spirit, who on the solemn day of Pentecost did suddenly descend upon the apostles, gathered in the upper room in parted tongues, as it were of fire, and did so enlighten their minds, inflame their hearts, and strengthen their wills, that henceforth they went through the entire world, and courageously and confidently proclaimed everywhere the teaching of Christ, and sealed it with the shedding of their blood. Renew, we beseech you, the wondrous outpouring of your grace in our hearts also. Our history of our minds are afflicted with ignorance concerning the nature and the dignity of those divine truths which form the object of faith, without which no man may hope for salvation. How far men go astray from a just estimation of earthly goods, which too often are put before the soul itself. How often our hearts do not meet with the love of the Creator as they will, but rather with the double lust for creatures. How often are we led by a false respect for human judgment when we ought to profess openly the precepts of Jesus Christ and to reduce them to action with a sincere heart and with the laws, namely, of our worldly substance. What weakness we manifest in embracing and carrying in the same human heart the process of this life, which alone can make a Christian a worthy follower of his divine master. Altogether, O Holy Spirit, enlighten our minds, cleanse our hearts, and give new strength to our wills, to such a degree, at least, that we may clearly recognize the value of our soul, and in like manner, despise the perishable goods of this world, that we may love God above all things, and for the love of Him, our neighbor as ourselves, that we may not only be free from fear in professing our faith publicly, but rather be glory in it, Finally, that we may accept not only prosperity, but also adversity as from the hand of the Lord, with all confidence that He will turn all things into good for those who lovingly tend towards Him. Grant we beseech you that we, by constantly answering the sweet impulses of your grace and doing that which is good with a persevering heart, may deserve one day to receive the rich reward of glory everlasting. Amen. Please turn to page 37, Novena Prayers. O glorious Apostle, St. Jude Adeus, true relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute you through the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart, I praise and thank God for all the graces He has bestowed upon you. Humbly prostrate before you, I implore you through this heart to look down upon me with compassion. O oh, despise not my poor prayers, let not my trust be confounded. To you God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most desperate cases. O oh, come to my aid, that I may praise the mercies of God. All my life I will be grateful to you and will be your faithful client until I can thank you in heaven. Amen. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Pray for us that we forget we may expiate all our sins by sincere repentance and the worthy reception of the Holy 
the sacraments, pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy apostle, Saint Jude Thaddeus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered your beloved master into the hands of his enemies has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of hopeless cases and of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speaking up where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need, that I may receive the consolations and supper of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, or particularly. We also pray for the following intentions. For God's blessings on the National Shrine of St. Jude the Names and St. Jude Catholic School. For more vocations to the priestly and religious life. For more than bar examinees, those who are taking academic and other examinations, and all our devotees and their petitions. And that I may bless God with you and all the elect forever. I promise you, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Amen. Saint Jude, today you pray for us. And for all we hope in you. Let us pray. O Saint Jude Thaddeus, relative of Jesus Christ, glorious apostle and martyr, renowned for your virtues and miracles, faithful and prompt intercessor of all who honor you and trust in you, you are a powerful patron and helper in grievous afflictions. I come to you and entreat you from the depths of my heart. Come to my aid with your powerful intercession, for you have received from God, the privilege to assist with your manifest help, those who almost despair of all hope, look down upon me. My life is a life of crosses, my days are days of tribulation, and my heart is an ocean of bitterness. All my paths are strewn with thorns, and scarcely one moment passes, but are witnesses of my tears and sighs, uneasiness, discouragement, Mistrust and almost despair prey upon my soul. You cannot forsake me in this sad plight. I will not depart from you until you have heard me. Only send to my aid. I will be grateful to you all my life. I will honor you as my special patron. I will thank God for the graces bestowed upon you and will encourage devotion to you according to my power. Saint Jude Thaddeus, pray for us. And for all we all can be.
Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste hearts. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Amen. Oh, Thanks be to God. God. 